31 days in, liberals are freaking out. Trump diehards fired up. But the one thing all of America can agree on, we've never seen anything like it. We're used to watching new presidents take office with choreographed policy plans rolled out with carefully chosen words. But this, a machine gun blast of big promises. The rhetoric loud, aggressive, chaotic. The question, is this a fine-tuned machine delivering promise after promise at a record pace, or an administration careening out of control? And if it is, how bad will the crash be? We're getting to all of that this hour. For the first time together since the election, Trump's fiery defender and former campaign manager, Corey Lewandowski, and Hillary Clinton's battle-scarred general, Robbie Muck, head to head. And in a moment, Trump's former primary rival, Senator Rand Paul. A year ago, he called candidate Trump a disaster. What does he think of President Trump now? And we had hoped to have Vice Admiral Bob Harward, who turned down the national security job just this week. Harward had committed to appearing on this program, but just an hour ago, he told us he was unable to join. We hope to have him in the near future. But we begin with a reality check and Trump in his element. This is the state where we all had great victory together. A classic high energy show. We will make America great again. Crowds an instant antidote to the poisonous atmosphere back in Washington. And they love him now more than ever. A star is born. A star is born. It was as if he never had to fire Flynn or got smacked by the courts or lost a cabinet nominee, ran into waves of opposition in the streets and that deluge of damaging leaks. Trump's search for his old winning ways started with that Thursday throwback. I'm not ranting and raving. I love this. I'm having a good time doing it. The most remarkable moment of that extraordinary event, a complete rejection of any suggestion that anything was going wrong. I turn on the TV, open the newspapers, and I see stories of chaos. Chaos. Yet it is the exact opposite. This administration is running like a fine-tuned machine. Reality check, Trump is making progress in some of his key promises. Tougher immigration, reworking his travel ban, cutting regulations, picking a conservative Supreme Court nominee. But on many of the big ticket items, he's treading water. The wall, tax cuts, Obamacare, that infrastructure plan, all still up in the air. And the main source of all of the chaos talk, the turmoil over national security. Mike Flynn is a fine person, and I asked for his resignation. He respectfully gave it. In Munich, Germany, at the International Security Conference, Vice President Pence tried to reassure NATO allies. But Pence's efforts to calm European anxieties were overshadowed by the star of the chaos theory camp, Senator John McCain. In a headline-grabbing speech, McCain asked a loaded question, can the West survive? He didn't mention Trump, but he didn't have to. In recent years, this question would invite accusations of hyperbole and alarmism, not this year. If ever there was a time to treat this question with a deadly seriousness, it is now. 